Okay, so let's get you caught up on understanding the whole layout process. So from the Ultimatum menu, we go into Templates. And then based on these choices, we already have an Ultimatum template, which we set up by default in a previous video. We're now going to go into Layout. Now, what's really cool about this is Ultimatum ships with a full layout and a partial layout, also known as part, because part is part for partial. In partial layout, if I edit that for a second, you'll see that's where the menu is, the ultimate menu that you're seeing in the front end right here. That's where this menu is coming from, just so you understand how it thinks. So I'm going to go back to my layout screen. And based on these choices, I do have a couple of choices here. I can clone the layout, I can delete the layout, but more specifically, I want to share with you how this layout thinks. I'm going to hit the edit layout. So what I have going on right now is my basic WordPress loop that's the only thing inside this layout. So let's say as an example that here's my front end, great. But what I'd like to do is maybe I want to put a sidebar over here to the right. Maybe I want to put subcategories. Maybe I want to put other information or maybe some advertising over here to the right. Here's a very simple way to do this. Now, if you're going to do this, what I might suggest, if you want to work smart, and again, I'm all about production techniques, all about working smart. So what you may choose to do, which is what I would do, I would come out here to my layout and I would clone that. Therefore, I can have the best of both worlds. I'm going to clone that layout. I'm going to hit the edit menu. And I'm going to call that the old, I'm going to call that full width layout. And let's just call this right side for right sidebar ads. So I'm just going to call this full layout right sidebar ads. So how can we get this to work? Well, what we can do based on these choices, we're going to insert a row. And the row that we're going to insert is I want to insert a row that is 66% and enough for my advertising, or I could do 7525. So let's do that. Let's go 7525, come down here and insert that. Now, in this particular case, I no longer need this particular area. Now, I want to put a slideshow up on top, but what I want to share with you is I'm not going to use this layout. I want to use a full width layout. So I'm going to take this WordPress default loop, and if, for those of you that know anything about WordPress, WordPress default loop will serve up your post and your pages or your categories or anything that you put in there as a loop. I'm going to select this and I'm going to delete that. Then based on these choices, because software simply comes down the choice, I'm going to go to insert row and I'm going to insert a place for a slideshow. I'm going to do a full width slider and insert. Now I don't want my slideshow to be below my content. So I'm going to take my slideshow area and drag it up here. Right now it's nothing. It's just the place for the slideshow. Then what I can do over here is I can put ads in here. I can put whatever I want over here. So we're going to do that. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to text. Now I want to share with you a really cool technique here. I could put a text box in there, but I also have something, a free plugin called Page Builder. Now Page Builder is actually a little mini. It doesn't come with the program, but it's free. It doesn't come with the ultimatum theme, but I like it a lot. It's by Site Origin. It's called Page Builder. I'll share with you how that works. It comes with all kinds of widgets, and the widget that we're going to use right here is I'm going to come down here to the widget, and I want to use, actually it's up here to the top, I want to use the widget called Images, PB Images. So I take image PB, PB images, and I put this right here. Now we'll put in the URL later on here where we have an image to put there. Right now I'm going to save that. I'm going to save the changes. So if I go back to my layout, the front page is going to look slightly different. So if I refresh this, what you will see is I have a place over here for my advertising. So if I refresh this, now what's happening is I still have my full width. Now you might say, well, wait a second. Why do I have a full width when I just basically created a, a new layout? Well, I created a new layout, but I didn't set that new layout to be my default layout. Keep in mind that this is my default layout. If I want to make this my default layout, based on these choices, I would select default. But I want to share with you a really cool technique, and this is what makes the ultimatum theme so incredibly simple to use and comprehend once you understand how it thinks. So I want to go up here to pages. Okay, so let's say that any time that I have certain pages here, so I'm just going to pick, say, my links page and my multiple paragraph page. So I'm going to select the link page, and you're really going to like this. This is so cool. I'm going to edit the links page. So if I pick the links page based on these choices, here's my choices. The layout that I want to use is the layout that I just created, which is called layout 
with the ads on the right. So I come here and I hit update. I also want to do the same thing. Now keep in mind, this is for the links page. Let's go back here and also do this for the multiple paragraph page. So I edit that. And I also want to bring up the links page for that as well. I come over here and I hit the links page and update that. So therefore, if I go to that particular page, it's automatically going to bring that up. Okay, so let's see this in action. I'm going to click here. I'm going to refresh the page. So if I go to my links page, Here's block quote, okay? But if I go to my links page, actually the links page itself, my mistake on that, how I set this up, the links page is I didn't set up to actually be a hyperlink, it's just this sublink here. But let me share with you how this would work for the, I think I set that up for the uh, multiple paragraph page as well. Uh, unfortunately, I set that up to not be a link, so let me just fix that. Now, here's a simple way to fix that from the front end. So I'm gonna select header post, and I'm gonna edit the page. Okay, and based on these choices, header post, I'm going to pick that at layout to the right and update that. I just forgot that the sub menu was not tied to that, so that, that's why that didn't work. But we can move along here. Okay, so now I have a place. Now I don't have a place. I can't see the ads because I have no ads in place. So in our next video, I will share with you really cool plugin, a very powerful plugin using the CM Ad Changer. Now, I can get deals for you on pretty much all software that I use, and it's not free. But rather than going to the CD Ad Changer in this free tutorial that you're watching right now, I'm going to just share with you how I can do that using that, that widget that we put in there, PB Image Widget. And we'll do that starting in our next video.